get the analysis from a man who knows. He's Bernard Laponche, a nuclear physicist, which impresses me already, sir. President of the Scientist Experts Association, Global Chance. Bernard is also author of the book, On finir avec le nucléaire, pourquoi et comment, which roughly translates to ending nuclear power, why and how. May I start, sir, by thanking you for coming in to see us here. Thank you, sir. And also ask you this question. Six new reactors. What's your reaction to that? I was not really surprised because President Macron is a very great supporter of nuclear, civil and military. And so we expected that someday he would say something. But... Uh, I was surprised by the fact that he presented first the necessity of energy efficiency, that is reducing energy consumption, which, which is very good. He said 40%, but the law say 50%, but he is president, so he can say that. Uh, second, uh, emphasis on renewables, okay. And third, nuclear. And it's, for, it's very strange because he based the, the speech on exactly the same situation 50 years ago, with De Gaulle and, Pomp and Pompidou saying that uh, the nuclear was a solution to all, all problems and in energy independence, etc. As if the world has not changed. And in, in the world, the maximum of energy pro uh, electricity from nuclear was in 19. 86, 18%. Now it's 10%, a little less. So the world is changing, first point. Second, he presented the proposal on nuclear as a sort of demonstration. We have scenarios given by experts, in particular RTE, the grid, the grid uh, electricity grid. And this is not true. There are several scenarios, and particularly a few scenarios with 100% renewables and no nuclear. So he was just presenting the scenario he liked. And he said, we need an enormous increase of electricity consumption. Not, it's not true. So there's a debate as to whether these six reactors will actually be enough. That's one thing. There's also this question about energy independence. And I know you said that this is the same argument as we were listening to yes. 50 years ago, uh, which obviously says something about the world, doesn't it? And how things go in cycles, I suppose. But with Russia, for instance, having its kind of stranglehold on European energy right now, yes, does, it, does it make sense for Macron to think this way about you know, creating yeah, more reactors? It, 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 even if it is nuclear, even if people, if people don't like it or, or not, does it make sense politically to do that, do you think? I think it's a mistake for several reasons. One, to build new EPRs when the four EPRs in, in the world, Finland, has started and now it's stopped. Taishan in China stopped. Mm. The French one will uh, start in 23, 24, we don't know. How can you say we are going to make six EPR, EPR2? And EPR2 is a lower cost. Why EPR2? Why not another EPR? Because EPR2 has to be less expensive. Does, does lower cost mean it's less safe? I think it's less safe. Less safe, okay. Because you have to gain on, on the price, on the cost. And to gain on the cost, you have to reduce some equipment, etc. So what we're seeing here today is the French president announcing six new reactors. They're of a type that you say is, is less safe. And you're a nuclear physicist, and you've written books on the issue. And clearly you have a position, but you can look at this objectively and say that they're less safe, these, these ones. I think. Mm. I think they are less safe because they want to gain on, on, the, on the cost. So second, so we have problems of safety. Mm. We have problem of uh, design of the reactors because EPR, uh, <laughs> what will happen with EPR? We have problems with the capacity of uh, industrial capacity for EDF to, to, to build these reactors, given the 
disaster of the EPCR. Yeah. So what I'm getting from you is that you, you feel that this is actually the wrong policy to pursue. It's the wrong way to go. Yes, and the fourth is uh, the money. Mm. When these reactors will would fun function, the, the cost of the kilowatt hour will be three to four times more than from wind or from photovoltaic. And so the last part of the speech of Macron is interesting. The state will put money. Why? If it's, if it's uh, the perfect solution. You've asked my question. I was, I was going to say, well, why would the state do that if it's the wrong thing to do, if it's not making the money? Why would the state do that? Be because it's a sort of religion. <laughs> they're, they're, they're sort of set on a line and they can't get off it. Is it yeah. because France is selling so much nuclear technology abroad? Is it that? Is they are France not is selling, market leader? No. They are not selling abroad. They are not. So this, sound, this sounds like it's a big white elephant, as it were, as the expression. It's something that people talk about a lot, which is valuable, but it really isn't. No, no. It, it's, a, it's very difficult to understand. Well, it's a speech of a candidate mm. for the presidential. No more. Because after that, you have, maybe he can be a probably president, maybe. But then you have all the work on the safety several years to approve or not EPR2, then public debate, then inquiries, then discussions. You think this isn't going to happen, don't you? You think this is all just hot air, as we say, talk, talk, talk. If, if, somebody, if somebody somewhere really try to see the figures, try to see the scenarios, try to see etc., it's possible that it will never happen. Bernard, I need to stop you there. I could talk to you all night because your, your depth of knowledge on this subject is huge. And it, it, that comes across really clearly. And we appreciate the things you've said because you've been very honest about your feelings on this sort of, and your position. Uh, Bernard Laponche, nuclear physicist and president of the Science Experts Association, Global Chance, and author of the book Ending Nuclear Power, Why and How, which of course in French is En finir avec le nucléaire, pourquoi et comment. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Thank you, Pleasure sir. Pleasure to speak to you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Bernard Laponche, thank you, sir.